Hey everybody, so like I, I say this once, I say it a million times, there's a, there's usually not a project around here that I can just go do. There, it's always, I gotta do a project before the project. So that's happened once again. I uh, realized that uh, the uh, front tire on the tractor is flat. And I thought, well, I'll just put some air in it. Hopefully, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> If it goes flat, there's a leak, right? But uh, I was hoping it wasn't too drastic, but I filled it up and I could hear it leaking uh, from right there. And uh, yeah, the leaking right there. So I thought, well, I don't know, it looks sort of bad, but I'll try and put a, put a plug in it. Uh, I've done a video about this before, but uh, I, I usually, um, I always have this stuff around. And uh, comes with a couple of things. And usually when you buy the kit, you get five or so of them. And I've, I've used all those and I've bought more. I don't know if I bought those off the internet or whatever. Uh, also, another thing for uh, something I do that seems to help is I'll buy these toolboxes or stuff at garage sales or sometimes people give them to you or whatever. And I'll put all like tools um, for certain jobs in there. So I got one for plumbing. It's got tubing and uh, cutters in it. And... PVC glue and stuff like that. This one's from our like air fittings and uh, tire repair. So I've got a little patch kit there. I got my plug kit. Got some different um, fittings for air hoses and stuff. So that way, if I have to air up a tire or fix a tire, I just grab this, come outside, and it's got everything in it I need. So that's been pretty handy to do. Same thing with with uh, plumbing repair and things. And I'll make up other like little tool kits. Uh, so I don't have to dig around my big toolbox to get a couple of screwdrivers and stuff. You know, I just have some wrenches and stuff on hand and another toolkit I can grab and go someplace. But yeah, let me, let me uh, see about getting this tire plugged up, maybe. So first step is you use this reamer thing here and you clean it. Oh yeah, that'll plug up. Yeah, that'll, that'll plug up. I hope. So go back and forth on that a few times. Then I'll get a uh, these plugs here. They just come in these little packs here. I think there's 30 of them in there. So pull one of these out, and this gets fit in to here. Just like that. And what will happen is I'll push this into the tire. And then uh, I won't go all the way, and some of this will be still sticking out. And then I'll pull it back out, and it'll cut it, or it'll, it'll come out, but won't pull the plug out. So, oh yeah, one thing I like to do too is when I'm working on the tractor, at least on the front end, I'll lift the front end off the ground with the bucket, so I can have access to the whole tire pretty easy. Anyway, let's see if this works. All right, so I'm in there quickly come out and I hear air it might be my air hose though all right and that's pretty much it and then uh, you can clip these off if you want I don't have any snips in here but it looks like that's holding I don't hear any air so I don't hear any air I don't feel any air I don't have any water soapy water or anything that's something else that you can do if you have to find the the hole if you mix up soapy uh, some water and some soap and in a spray bottle you can spray it in your tire and it'll bubble up wherever there's a leak at and I don't have that I'll just monitor the tire pressure make sure it's good to go and you know that's five ten minutes of work uh, and I'm back on the road I don't have to go to the I don't have to go to town with the tire take the tire off take the tractor and any of that stuff there it's done that's it. So, so that was it. Finished with that repair, five, ten minutes, and uh, gets me back working. I could put my tiller on now and go sweat some more. Talk to you guys later.